For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Kelly Schultz. Joining me from the BSU women's hockey team is Stephanie Anderson, senior forward out of North St. Paul, Minnesota, and a member of Team USA, and another gold medal. Congratulations, Steph. Thanks, Kel. Four Nations Cup, uh, you returned from Sweden. First of all, how long were you over in Sweden for your te- with your team? Um, I was there for about a week. So I got there. I was one of the latest girls, I think the latest, that got there. So. And how long did it take? to get adjusted to the time difference? Um, I took some Advil PM, that helped quite a bit, but the first night I actually slept all the way through, but it was nice after that, that was difficult for me. So we'll see how I adjust when I come back. I was up pretty early this morning. (laughs) I was gonna say, I bet you haven't quite adjusted back to this time frame. Um, Who did you room with while you were over there? I was with Monique Lemonier. And I know you also assisted a goal that her sister Jocelyn scored in the finish game. What's it like playing alongside the Lambs? Uh, yeah, they're great. Uh, they're, they're so skilled. I remember Jocelyn scored a goal, and I looked at um, Pelkey on the bench, and I said, if I could have a fourth of their patience, that would just make my, <laughs> they would just make my day. But yeah, they're great. Um, great players. You know, you watch them on the bench, and you just want to, you know, play like they do. So they're and they're great off the ice too. They're always willing to help you. Is the, I hate to call it an error, but is there some sort of confidence that comes with being a member of Team USA? I mean, you guys went undefeated in the tournament. Yeah, I mean, of course you have some confidence when you you beat teams like that, but, you know, it's it's nice we got a lot of adversity in that last game where we had to go to overtime and figure out a way from to come from behind. You got a chance to start at wing in the first game, and then against Canada you were at center. Was that just a crazy transition for you? Yeah, we, wa- we walked in the locker room and coach put the lines on the board and my heart sank because we were about to play Canada and he's throwing me in at center. Um, but yeah, coach uh, coach said he, he uh, trusted me going out there and getting the job done, but after the game he just felt more comfortable with me at wing and I agreed with him too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a huge honor for you to get that opportunity. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. So you go undefeated, you go to the championship game, obviously have to play Canada again. Your team takes them to overtime. Oh my goodness, like, did your heart just stop knowing you guys were going into that extra? Um, Yeah, but we were going into the third period down a goal, so it was nice that we got back into it and at least got one in the third to take it to overtime. But, you know, we only get to play Canada four times a year, so um, we take advantage of all the games and... It's nice to learn how to play from behind, especially against Canada, because the last Olympics, you know, we we needed to find ways to win. So that's what we talked about before uh, the third period, and we found a way. And of course, that goal scored by Hillary Knight. She's just an incredible skater. How fast is she out on the ice? She's she's really fast. She's just so smart with the puck. Um, whenever she gets the puck on her stick, you know, something's going to happen. You were one of the only current college hockey players on Team USA, correct? Yes. What was it like being the youngest on this team? Uh, yeah, it's different. I mean, the girls that are there now, the older girls, you know, they're not playing as many games on the weekends. They're playing one, you know, with the NWHL. But um, for me, I've been playing games consistently to a weekend, so I felt pretty good going in there. But the other girls, um, you know, they needed a, a pre-camp that was pretty hard to get them going. But um, it's, it's nice to kind of be young and just observe all the older girls and how they handle themselves and games like that so that's probably I learned a lot watching them. What was it like playing alongside some of those pro players? Obviously the National Women's Hockey League is in full swing with their first season. Did you hear any really cool stories from them? Um, no they didn't they didn't really talk about it too much uh, surprisingly so yeah. But it was still neat to know that they're playing pros and that there's that chance for you someday down the road. Oh yeah hopefully someday. <laughs> Well, while you were away, Bemidji State goes on a four-game win streak uh, this last weekend at Ohio State. I know you were watching. Your mom texted me a couple mm-hmm. times that Steph was listening. <laughs> um, what was it like being so far away from your team? Um, it was hard because I wish, you know, I'm, I'm watching the games and I wish I could be out there with them, obviously, but um, I was really happy when they were putting the puck in the net. And Monique's next to me and she's actually sleeping and, and I'm <laughs> celebrating and I'm trying to stay quiet. And, uh, but yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Of course, with the time change, I think wasn't one of the games at like midnight. Midnight, yeah. you were, should have probably been asleep because the <laughs> your game was like at five thirty the next morning or something. Yeah, I probably should have been in bed, but I stayed <laughs> up and watched the game. We won't tell your coach that. Right? 
All right, so you guys had to Ritter Arena this weekend. Your team knocked the Gophers out of second place in the standings. They're now third, Beavers in second. What kind of fuel does that give your team going into the Gopher home ice this weekend? Oh, it gives us a, a lot of little fire, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, we just need as many points as we can this weekend. You know, the Gophers always, they do struggle against us. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on them and uh, we just need to do the same thing. We need to know that we can come away with points this weekend and just play like we do. I know I told your coach your upperclassmen have have had such great success against this Gopher squad. Do you take what you did to them last year and kind of tuck that behind you and, and go, okay, this is a different year, but you know you can do it? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we'll hold on to that probably until we're done playing hockey. But, um, I, you know, the Gophers are probably holding on to it too, and they're going to come hard because they know what we did to them last year. So we just got to step it up a little bit too. Steph, good luck this weekend. Congratulations again. All right, thank you.